Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle. And Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. So, it is as you have always maintained. You must feel quite vindicated. Too many people look to the Maker to solve their problems. It's never that easy. You do a disservice to their faith, Inquisitor. Those who looked to the Maker never asked for a literal hand to stretch out of the Fade to protect them. They wanted a sign that in this harsh and unforgiving world, there existed some reason to hope. And they found that in you. That's a generous interpretation of things, revered mother. Do you think the world shares it? Oh, she wasn't literally sent by Andraste, but she's still the Herald, metaphorically. This is the trouble with metaphors and the educated. A farmer cannot understand the truth of the Maker, so he learns that the Maker is a man, but greater. A mage learns the same thing, knows it to be simplistic, and feels clever for realizing it is not literally true. But a metaphor is not a lie. It is a tool to help people understand something beyond them, and we need such a tool. But how do you keep your stories straight when different people understand different things? The same way you keep Sister Leliana, Commander Colin, and Ambassador Montillier happy all at once. Very carefully. A farmer, a noble, a warrior, and a mage will all see different aspects of the Maker in their lives. They must each hear the story that will reach them, and each of those stories is valid. Now. Is there anything I can help you with?